Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at something short and sweet that could go horribly wrong and blow up the world. This is the chain escalator from the same creator who made the chain elevator that showcased not too long ago. So it works on the same theme of getting the engineer from a lower floor all the way up to a high floor thanks to moving parts. Now all of this is purely vanilla made out of some very ingenious designs. We'll just come over to the section at the back here to actually show you what is going on. Got a wheel down here that will spin around on a rotor all the way up to the top. This is what we get to actually move it around. This is going to hook into it and actually drag the whole section along. So I need to move all the way up or with a clicker button, move all the way down. We'll take a better look at that a bit later. Just moving away for the moment and that's the size of it. You can barely see the engineer standing on the lower platform. But pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, the escalator, not a penguin, is 3,765 small blocks using no DLC packs and no mods. We also got some nice information about it on the Steam Workshop page. So it's the default speed and that we can move it up and that is perfectly safe. As well as some other little bits at the bottom. So simply give this a thumbs up. We'll have a quick look around the outside of this. Then we'll go and test it out, send the engineer up, and then maybe whack the speed up at the end to see how far we can push this. So over where I'm standing, what we've got is our starting platform, which would be your lower floor and preferably built into the ground so you can hide the section underneath. We've got some glass panels to make sure you can't actually walk into the area that's very dangerous. You could mess everything up and to injure yourself. But at the very front to actually go all the way up, we've got a red button and we've got a blue button. The red button is going to make it go up. The blue button is going to reverse it and make it come down. Pressing them again will stop the elevator. So you've got that in the emergency. We also have a handy little access panel to change all the speeds if you wanted to. Pulling away from that and looking down, there's a battery to give it some power. There's another wheel to move it all the way around, or in fact actually drag it around due to the way it's been set up. We've got some steel blocks with some blaster edge blocks that just hook into some more blocks and just quite literally drag it all the way around and make it go where it needs to go. Moving along the bottom chain, there's some wheels to help turning it around to keep the momentum going. That's where to move along. There's another set of wheels. We can see how it is wobbling around, but it is perfectly safe. And at the back, as we saw, there's another wheel with the L shape. Moving all the way up and getting a better look at what we saw just a second ago. There we are. This is the main point of where it's going to move this all the way around. And like the one down there, it's going to hook into the chain itself and drag it all the way around to actually give it momentum. But at the top, it's going to be very much the same as the one on the bottom. A red button, a blue button to move it up and down and an access panel. But as for the chain itself, what we're going to stand on is going to be this thing, and it's going to come all the way down, all the way down, to the bottom right there. I think without further ado, it's time for me to grab hold of my character, press the red button, and up we go. So it's quite a speedy little thing, but moving the engineer on, here we go. And what I'll do is get the free camera, just follow it like so. As you can see, it's perfectly safe, there's no clanging anywhere, there's no risk of it randomly exploding. You simply move all the way up from the bottom floor to the top in a reasonable amount of time. And it's also quite surreal watching the engineer move up like that. He's sort of hanging onto that platform. That can I just move him forward a little bit? There we are. Pierce, that's simply how it works. We come around to the side of the sun. Doesn't really make too much difference, does it? But going back into first person view, this is what we get. It does wobble around quite a bit. It's quite scary from this view. It doesn't look too bad from afar. But now we're coming up to the top. We're going to look down because we've got to be careful of our feet. Make sure our shoelaces don't get caught into this section. But we do not have to worry. We won't actually get sucked down. We will just simply get stuck on a blast edge block. Walk across. And there we go. And we can, once we're done, press the red button to stop it. And then press the blue button to make it go all the way down. And once again, simply walk onto it. And down goes the engineer. We bring the free camera over. What we can do is take a better look up here at what is going on. In fact, we'll come into the middle here. If we can get a better view like this, that'd be great. There we go. We can see how it's sort of hooking into the chain, dragging it all the way up, then just releasing it on the opposite side. Looking at it like that, that's a very clear view. Should have started with this one. That's how that's working. Then just moving it all the way down. Where is the engineer? There he is. We now look down this bottom platform. And there we go. That's how that one is working down here. And now back into the engineer. We're coming down to our bottom floor. And that's pretty much it for the chain escalator. It's a very nice little thing to have in your world if you are making like a 
giant mega structure and want a fancy way to show off your friends to move up and down between floors. Of course you've got the chain elevator which is also very safe and good choice to use but this one is a lot more fancier and you could adjust it to different heights if you want to break it down and make a smaller one that's entirely up to you. But to end this video and to finish off the escalator what we're going to do is bring this to a stop and now we're going to play around with some of the speeds. And here we go, it's now maximum speed. It really does not like this. I'm going to stand on it and hope for the best. And I'm getting flung away, looking at it from a distance. That is wobbling quite a lot. That is real dodgy. Finding my character once again. Can I actually stand on this? I might need to spawn it in space. To actually magnetically lock myself on here. But here we go. We're going up. And that's the speed we're going. That's some fast speed. But my god, is that wobbling around. Look at that go. We're almost at the top. And there we go, we actually land on the platform. And there we go, that's pretty much it for the chain escalator. It's a lovely little thing to play around in your world. You can go up to some exceptional speeds and still be perfectly fine. If you're wondering what happened in the background, I decided to remove some steel blocks to see what happened with the chain. And well, it acts like a chain. So it'll be linked to the description below if you do wish to download and play around with yourself. Highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.